What's up, humanities? This is just some study guide advice and uh, a video where I'm trying to help you get prepared to do the best you possibly can for the humanities semester two exam. So I posted the study guide out on Wednesday. Uh, hopefully you've had a chance to look that over. For semester two, the humanities exam, I think is gonna be pretty darn easy. I hope everybody is getting A's or at least A's and B's on it. Uh, and I think with a little bit of preparation, even if you haven't uh, been super tuned in and following stuff close, you still should be able to do okay on this exam. There's two parts total, uh, and you'll see that broken down on the exam. The first part is really kind of a no brainer and you, it just takes a little bit of effort on your part. I ask four questions on it and they're all just kind of reflective personal questions, and I want to see a thoughtful response from each of you on it. Uh, on the study guide, I actually provided the four exact questions that I will post for part one of the exam. So you can actually, for that, start writing up your answers right now. You could get them done this week, and then when I post part one of the exam on Monday morning, you can just go copy and paste your answers into that and submit it. Or if you just want to look it over and just kind of think about your what responses you'll give, uh, then you just type them in on Monday morning on through to Wednesday. You have a three-day window to complete the exam. Uh, you just have to get it done in that chunk of time. If there's any emergencies, I would allow somebody to get it in on Thursday. But ideally, I want everybody to have the exam done Monday through Wednesday next week. That, that'll be your time window uh, to complete it. So for part one, you go in, type in those responses. Uh, for each one, if you want to get full credit and an A on that part of the exam, which you absolutely should because that's a very subjective kind of like opinion-based uh, part of the exam. I'm looking for you to give me a thoughtful response that it looks like you put a little bit of thought into it. So, you know, a paragraph or so for each of those questions that are pretty open-ended. Uh, if you do that, you'll check that box and you'll do good on part one of the exam. Now, part two of the exam is multiple choice and it's only 10 questions total. Uh, and I basically took a sampling of all of the different units that we did uh, and some of the little like mini one or two day lessons. A couple of those are in there where uh, there's some key vocabulary terms uh, that you need to know. If you're not familiar with them, well, you can go back and reference the lessons I posted uh, throughout the semester or you can come contact me and I will try to fill you in and get you caught up to speed. Uh, but that'll be just 10 questions, multiple choice. I have essentially in no particular order, I have everything that'll be on part two of the exam listed off on the study guide. So if you're familiar with that stuff and think you have a decent understanding of it, you should be good to go. Uh, and again, for part two of the exam, it'll get posted Monday morning. It's due by Wednesday night. I'll be entering the grades on Thursday. If you have some emergency and can't complete the exam Monday through Wednesday, contact me, be proactive about it, and uh, we'll make arrangements for you to, to get that in. Uh, so I hope everything is going really good there. Um, again, if you have any questions, not many people have been coming into class for fifth hour because that's humanities are pretty much an upperclassman hour. Uh, but I would strongly encourage you, if you have any questions at all, uh, or just want to double check and make sure that you're good to go for it, pop on in and see me. I'm happy to review the study guide with you. Uh, or really, I like especially for part one, you could come do it in person and just give me your answers and we could have a discussion. I'm totally open to that too. Uh, <clears throat> so if you do have any questions or need anything, come on in and see me if you can. That's the best option. Uh, I'll, I'll review it with you. And if that doesn't work and you're working remotely, uh, you can email me and ask me any of the specifics from the exam and I will get back with you as soon as I can. Now, be aware, I will be answering questions about the exam up through to Friday, Friday evening, kind of. Um, I might, I'm not going to guarantee it, but I might be able to respond to things. If you sent me a question on Saturday or Sunday, I'll make a best effort to respond to you in time, but no promises. I'm not quite sure what I, my wife has planned for me this weekend. Uh, but by come Monday morning, when the exam gets posted at that point, I will not be answering questions anymore. So if you do have any questions, look it over the sooner, the better and get them to me ASAP. That'll guarantee that you will the answers that you need. Okay, if you have any questions, contact me. Other than that, good luck on the exam and have a, a wonderful summer break after you complete.